Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Din and I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients, mix the spices and then cook the dish. Very simple method I'm going to use, so please follow the instructions carefully. So let's cook. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chef Din and today I'm going to show you this lovely recipe. Uh, they're called telepita and my mum used to make them for me when I was a child and I used to love them. I couldn't get enough. Anyway, let's uh, begin uh, to make it. I'm going to start right from the beginning and I'm going to show you how to make rice flour first instead of buying it in. I'm going to show you how to make rice flour. So get two cups of rice uh, in a bowl. I'm using basmati rice here. You can use uh, patna rice or board rice if you'd like and then give it a good wash. Make sure the water is clear. Then as soon as the water is nice and clear, after about four or five times, leave it to the side and leave it overnight. The next day in the morning, uh, get yourself a nice big sieve and basically empty the rice and leave it for about 10, 15 minutes in the sieve so the water drains out as much as possible. Then what we want to do is get a tea towel, uh, place all the rice on top of the tea towel. What we will going to do is try to dry it out as much as possible so spread it all over just like this and then place another tea towel on top just like so then uh, give it a good uh, push and a little rub of the rice so we're getting as much moisture out as possible before we grind it in our grinder I always like uh, making my rice flour uh, this way you don't have uh, flour uh, just sitting in the cupboard and plus I think it tastes much better uh, when you make your own like everything you know so uh, give this a go it's very easy to make rice flour just uh, get yourself a good uh, grinder uh, which I'm doing and don't put too much in at once so I, I'm doing it in two batches so put it in and uh, remember it does uh, heat up a little bit so turn it off uh, so often just to let it cool down the motor and uh, grind it uh, until the powder is really smooth uh, and fine. We, we want it as fine as possible. So really this has only taken me uh, probably about 15 minutes uh, to wash the rice, leave it soaking up overnight and then make the rice flour. It doesn't take that long and you'll see the difference in the flavour when you make your rice uh, cakes or telepita as they say and uh, you'll see how lovely they are. Now we're about to do the final batch, uh, basically it's a similar way, just blend it all down and uh, it doesn't take long. Uh, it only took me about, in total, probably about 15 minutes from washing the rice, leaving it soaking and then blending it into a, a nice powder. You can see steam coming where uh, the grinders got really hot with the rice. So uh, let that cool down and once it's cooled down we can start our process of making the pitas. Right, now we're ready. Let's uh, put two cups of that rice flour in the bowl with about three quarter of a cup of uh, plain flour and uh, we're going to also put uh, about uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Now what we want to do is give that a good mix uh, and uh, before we go to our next process. Give it a good mix, incorporate all the flour, salt and everything uh, nicely. I'm going to make another video as well to make a savoury telepita as well. So watch out for that video. I think it should be coming available shortly. But uh, before I do that, let's carry on with this one. This is uh, palm sugar or gur we call it in Bangladesh. Uh, I've bought this from Bangladesh, my brother bought it over for me and uh, it's basically not palm sugar, it's date palm sugar where uh, palm sugar is made from coconut palms and uh, this one's made from date palms. Unfortunately we can't get this one here, we can only get palm sugar but if you're in the UK you probably be able to uh, get this there. Anyway I've put about a cup of water with it and what we want to do is melt it down uh, and form a syrup. Then once it's cooled down after about 20 minutes then we will begin. First sieve it into the bowl as you can see. So that takes away all the little dirt bits or anything what's uh, uh, left 
where in the cooking process when they made this uh, uh, palm sugar or I should call it date palm sugar really yeah anyway anyway as you can see the little bits of uh, dirt what's there so we got rid of that and now uh, give this a good mix we don't want this mixture to be too runny we want it uh, quite thick like a, a thick custard basically uh, to this I'm going to add about uh, 200 mils of water as well cold water add a little bit at a time don't add it all at once because uh, if it uh, gets too runny then there's only one way to save this is by adding a bit more rice flour so uh, try not to uh, get it too uh, runny uh, and just add a little bit of water at a time mix it well in that's the key but once we've uh, mixed it well then what we have to do is basically leave this for about a good 20 uh, to half an hour 20 minutes to a half an hour should be fine and just leave it out and uh, let it rest because we need it to uh, the rice to kind of uh, soak in the moisture as well a little bit after about 20 minutes we are now ready as you can see this is the thickness it should be no thinner than this otherwise it starts to curl up when you fry them so with a thermometer check the temperature it should be between 320 and 340 Fahrenheit it's very important that the temperature is correct what I've done is uh, heated it up on the big burner then put it on my lowest burner on full and that keeps the temperature constant and you can keep making it one by one just don't touch it just gently just move the oil so it doesn't stick at the bottom I suggest you buy one of these cast iron uh, Koray dishes you can get them from any Indian shop and season it well and how you season it is basically put oil in it and just let it burn and that will season it then we'll clean it and put some more oil in it and so on until it really uh, gets black and uh, like you can see and it won't stick at all as you can see just leaving it it will float to the top and then it will puff up just like this And that is the key to making these telepita. They, you just have to be patient and they will work. And if the temperature is correct, like 320 to 340 uh, Fahrenheit, uh, they will turn out perfect. What you want to do is fry them about uh, one to uh, one and a half minutes on each side. And that should give you a perfect uh, telepita and it's lovely cooked inside as well you don't have to worry about it these uh, pitas that my aunties used to make in the villages when I used to go over to Bangladesh every now and again uh, my aunties used to make them for breakfast and uh, they, they are completely different there basically they make it uh, using uh, a great big uh, uh, pestle of mortar uh, which is they use like a tree trunk to uh, grind the rice it's uh, quite amazing next time i in bangladesh if i get the opportunity i will do a video of uh, my aunties making these maybe they don't make the rice flour like uh, they used to maybe they buy it in now with the modern age but carry on uh, making uh, the pitas like you see uh, and uh, take your time don't rush it and they will all puff up uh, I've not had one what hasn't puffed up. Anyway, this is my and, telepita. Uh, as you I can hope see, you enjoy it looking really nice. And I can't most important uh, way I hope to you enjoy have eating. A bite. Yeah. And remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. It helps the channel to grow, and thus I can make more content. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.